Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Butterfly the Truth. My channel is intended for adults, so you must be 18 years over to receive this good message. I do use profanity over here, so if you do not like profanity or if you do not use profanity, then you are free to go. I love you anyways, to the ones of you that are staying here with me. Hey y'all, how you doing? How you feeling? How you, how you, how you be here? Okay, welcome back to my kaleidoscope tribe. Welcome back to my kaleidoscope Right. Hey y'all, hey y'all doing? How you been? Okay, somebody need to stop stressing off the bed, okay? Stop second guessing yourself. You did everything correct. All right, bam. Y'all, this gotta be like a 15 minute reading. I gotta go. Somebody needs to get outside and have fun here in my city. It will be a carnival tomorrow, so from the 22nd through the 24th and Saturday, September 23rd. It'll be nine years of my grandmother's departure, so I'm definitely going to bring my children because that's all Corbin keeps saying is that he want to go to the corner. Ooh, bloodstone detoxifying root, heart, and sacral chakra. Somebody need to stop giving pussy to a nigga who didn't choose you and who didn't do right by you. You need to detoxify. You need to cleanse. Probably need to, um, like Medea say, lock that thing down, lock it down, clink, clink. Um... This person may be rooted to you. Uh, this may be somebody that you had a home dynamic with at one point in time. So that's why they are attached to your heart. You may love this person, but in the end, they truly don't love you. And that goes to the energy that I was getting while I was grounding. Somebody need to stop trying to prove themselves to whoever he fucking with, whoever he left you for, whoever he chose over you. Well, you know that you are better than this person, and they know it too. You don't have any points to prove. This person loves you. You didn't lose anything. Except for heartbreak. For real, for real. Mm -mm. I may be seeing a lot of animals. A frog been crossing my path lately. I've been seeing fairies and fays and... I lost my phone, so the second time the fade was there, I recorded him again. Provoking. Mm, see, you letting somebody provoke you. Stop letting it happen. Stop letting somebody see you sweat. Stop letting somebody know that whatever they doing or however they feel affects you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Let that shit go. Grand cross. It's time somebody got to come to a crossroads. You're going to keep settling for somebody that you know is not really good for you. And really don't truly give a damn about you? Or are you going to get outside and go have fun and attract the person that's going to do right by you, that's going to love you? You shouldn't be scared to find genuine love. You should be scared to keep letting this person have access to you and your body. And should be scared of what they're going to bring you home. You should be scared of them keep breaking your heart. You should be scared of waiting for them to do right. You should be scared to hold that title. It ain't proving nothing. It don't matter how many kids y'all be having with these men. And I don't give a fuck. I'm me. And this is just what it is. I have seven kids. And I have six baby fathers. I've always been a wife. I've always been kept. I tell the story in detail. Little by little. Whenever I feel like it. Judge what you want to. Until I decide to tell you exactly how it went. Okay? Um, but it is not what it seems. But I've always been kept. I've always been a wife. I've always been able to fulfill and live in my nurturing energy. If I can't do anything else right, I know how to nurture a human. I know how to take care of them. I know how to guide them. I know how to teach them. I know how to feed them and clothe them and direct them and provide them safety. I know how to satisfy. I know how to take care of a human. I know how to listen. I know how to be quiet. I know how to make them feel important. I know how to wait my turn. I know how to give what I'm giving. I know how to do right by a human. And so we got the sun. That's the um, number one. We got the sun. That is the most brightest, happiest part in the day. But if you don't make that choice, you're going to be stuck in this cycle. You need to close that cycle out. I know you brought bloodstone. You don't put blood, sweat, and tears in a situation and it still didn't go in your favor. I don't want women to stop giving these dumb ass, ignorant ass men chances to keep hurting us. Us, and I say us because I've done it over and over too many times. I'm not here to judge. 
But when somebody show you who they are the first time, just believe them. They ain't gonna do right. That's just a free pass for them to keep on. And what you allow is what will continue, period. Sad in return, age, and air element communicating. So somebody from the past may be coming back to try to, somebody, a fire sign could be significant. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but somebody could be coming back from the past to tell you how to feel about you, that they love you, that they care about you, yada, 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 do, do, do. fuck them. Those benefits was at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the deck. So if you see that go that cross again, and what's this part of fortune increase? If you Jupiter return, oh, oh, Jupiter return and Saturn return, see that's two different planets. You don't have to make a choice. Oh my goodness, I'm glad this is just like this because something to do with Trinity. They got a holy Trinity. Trinity gonna be significant. Trinity gonna connect the dots. Trinity could be significant. The Holy Trinity, the Holy Holy Grail. I don't know. Okay, but when you make the choice with this person, this this Jupiter, and be that Saturn right there, and you connect with the person that's gonna put you in this energy, that's when you're gonna come with the increase. This person is gonna be who is gonna benefit you in every way possible. Who a Pisces could be significant, and um, that's that person from the past too. This. Fifth house creativity. I'm telling you, they're going to be creative about the way that they approach you, pursue you, how they invest in you, and everything in between. This person is really, 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 really going to be a person. You're going to be so in love and so happy and so at peace and so comfortable in this person's energy. You're not even in the beginning going to feel like you're worthy of such a perfect person. And no, no one is perfect, but this is literally going to be your perfect person. Transformation, again, I'm telling you, you are the person that can turn something negative into a positive. You can make shit shake. You're going to find the house. You're going to find the landlord. You're going to find the check stub lady. You're going to find the CPN lady. You're going to get that job. You're going to work overtime. You're going to find the car. You're going to get the connects. You're going to make the plays. You are, you're going to cook the meals. You're going to take care of the kids. You're going to suck them, fuck them. You're going to do what you're supposed to do. You are going to hold it down. And this person know that. I'm telling you, stop stressing. Please. Your kids see you. And they looking at you. Plan in action. See, I'm telling you, they're going to be, oh, goodness, this person, this man. You see him with his fine ass. He is going to come and make that commitment. He's going to make that plan. He's going to put action behind it. He ain't just going to talk about it. He's going to walk about it. He's going to be about it. And you deserve that. But you got to, you see, that's a map right there. You got to make the choice. Discovery. Oh, I'm telling you, you're going to be so grateful. You're going to be in bliss. You're going to be in cornucopia. You're going to be so happy. I'm telling you, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Ooh, this person going to take you on trips and vacations with balconies. I'm telling y'all, y'all see that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he coming. He coming with the flowers. You ain't going to have to ask. You're not going to have to ask. You're going to tell him what you want and what you desire. He ain't never going to forget it. He's going to give you what you desire. Oh. You ain't even going to have to ask. I'm telling you. Y'all see him. <sighs> and then that person going to be singing Bruno Mars. I should have bought you, bought you flowers when I had a chance. Mm -hmm. They're going to be in regret. And they're going to be stuck right here. And that victim mentality. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, ass nigga. That's what the fuck you get. Self imprisonment because you knew what you had to do and you knew what the right thing was to do. You still chose to do wrong, bite the hand that feeds you, betray your partner, betray your spouse, ignore, not uh, dedicate, not give, not nurture the connection. You just chose to be a snake ass nigga. And y'all hear that shot like gunshots, you thug, you ratchet, look at you, cry. Cry me a river, Justin Timberlake. Period. Okay? Because, listen, when you make that choice with that loving man, it's going to be a happy success. Be fine, too. And, um, Jodeci may be significant. See, you indecision. Come on, y'all. Y'all see this. You stop being indecisive. 
please and thank you. Make the choice. You see which way you're going to go. You're going to the left or you're going to the right. Beyonce said to the left, to the left. Everything you owe in the box to the left. Pack his shit, pack his shit, and get him up out of there. Or get her up out of there. Whoever it is, little red, right hood. Take the hood off so you can see and make the shit, make the choice, make the decision. And put your feet to the pavement and get them going. Okay? Oh my goodness. See, when you make that choice, the second chakra, like Angel Ariel, so somebody will have to speak, okay? No, that's the third, that's your third. Um, no, yeah, you need somebody will have to speak up, okay? And I say three. Blossoming abundance. Somebody will have to speak up and tell them enough. I've given you enough. You showed me just how bad you can do me. You showed me just how much you can embarrass me. You showed me just how much you can put me in competition against these raggedy assholes. I'm trying not to be too loud. Y'all see it again. See, you as Angel, you balancing it all out. You want to make the proper decision. Even with the blindfolds on, you want to make the proper decision. Ain't nothing going to be able to waver you. You're going to sign that contract. You hear me? You blind to the bullshit. I'm telling you to thank your man. It could be either man, the man that's thinking about making this plan and putting it into action, or that man that's thinking about how he fucked up and how he lost you and how he have to watch you be loved correctly by somebody else or her to him. Vice versa. Mm. 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 I don't think I'm gonna take all them. Yeah, they gonna envy they gonna envy your new relationship for real. And while they broke your heart, they're going to be the one in the end wind up with this right here, the broken heart. Boy, it's going to turn into storm warning. They go that, I wish I was home. The Wizard of Oz may be significant again because, baby, it's going to be a tornado. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. See? Don't they go to love us? Or the devil. Mm -mm. I want to go to five of coins. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, I ain't doing that. Oh, look at the one shelf for y'all. Uh uh. Shoot. Ten of swords. All right. Whatever out here, this is what this will be taking, okay? I ain't going to be able to do my 10 card spread. We got the knight of swords. Somebody going to come in there. I'm trying to save it at the end. It's going to be too late because you're moving into this energy right here of the queen of pentacles because. Clothes because you are the queen of pentacles, all right? You're going to be, no, I mean, this is the nine of pentacles. You are the empress right here. You're going to be moving into that abundance and that filtration and that good life and that peace and that love and that serenity. Yes, you are because you are the empress. You are the empress. And let that motherfucking king of swords go. You ain't got a point to prove to nobody. You're going to go right here to six of pentacles that even give and take reciprocity right here come from out of this energy. You ain't got to be standoffish to this person. You ain't got to steal with them blindfolds on. Y'all see it? Steal with them blindfolds on. But this time, you're not letting nobody get close to you. Nah, hell no. Nah. You let this motherfucker do all that to you. It ain't never too soon to get love correctly. Put your guard down. Because the Knight of Cups is coming, baby. He coming. He coming to make that decision, and he's coming to make you happy. Okay, here we go. The world is coming to an end. End it, 10, 10, where you been? Did you get my message? Somebody may be delivering you a message or something like that, like that, like that. Okay? Okay, y'all, this is going to be a 17-minute reading, okay? Period. And number 23 could be significant. Oh, Grandma, I love you. I'm coming to see you. So, I'm telling you, you can have soul ties. You can love this person real bad, but they are no good for you. Oh, they could be good on the grill. They can be on the grill master. It don't matter. They could be with old evil bitch that's doing black magic on you. Mm-hmm. And whoever they fuck with, mm-hmm. Yep, they stank. The bitch stank. Ooh, funky ass. You see it. The bitch stank, stanked up. That's how her drawers look. The middle of the, the, middle of the butt crack of their boxer briefs looking just like that dingy, dirty with dookie shit balls. They do too much. They extra. I'm telling you, I know you're tired. You ain't got no point to prove. You're going to move into this energy of being distressed. There it go again. There it go again. Great fortune increase. There it go again. I'm telling you, Phoenix, 
death, rebirth, out with the old, in with the new. This is you. You're going to rise from the ashes and you're going to be the best that you have ever been. So if you have been struggling, you've taken losses, whether it be your home, whether it be your car, whether it be your job, a decrease in pay, having to get a new job, just anything. Just know that repercussion seed is its own way. All the good seeds that you sold have not been overlooked. You are going to get everything that you put in. Just You may feel like you on the bad side of luck or me be questioning what did you do? How do you deserve this? Trust me, it's coming. Just keep putting in the work. Just keep doing what you have to do. And in the end, you will win, I promise. I'm telling you this bitch with that rah-rah shit. She with that drama. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? A tornado again. The bitch trying to cause confusion. Trying to cause confusion where there is none. Don't let that bitch see you sweat. Don't let her create no tornado in your life. Have faith that everything is going to play out in your favor. And you may get lonely at night because you're used to them being there. That's when you call them and let them creep in and let them get some of that good stuff. They don't deserve it, baby. Let them stay with that funky ass bitch. For real, for you get something. Intuitive and you know this, all right? I told you, ain't hard work and keep putting in that work. I love you, you love you, and if nobody else have told y'all that, and y'all know that, I love y'all and I mean it. Your mama may be a soldier, you may need, your mama may have went through some things, but in the end, you never seen your mama give up or quit or let life defeat her in its entirety. You may get that from your mama, that strength from your mama. I'm hearing something about a Leo. Your food is the best. See, they may cook for you, that grill master. They may cook for you now, but their food may be good, but I don't give a fuck, fuck that. The, 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 the thinking man, the man with the plan, his food tastes better. And for real, this is the energy they come in with. They love to be the reason that you smile, okay? Okay? Okay, y'all, it's going to be an 18-minute reading. I got a problem. 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 Okay? I don't got a problem. I got a problem. Okay, that's it. Ooh, I may read this one later on because that card came out too. And that's Crystal Keys. Gracious receptivity. 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 Ooh, reception. If there were a manual or optimal human experience, one of the most potent points would be gratitude. Great gratitude was in there. It is the backbone of all spiritual practices. Oh my goodness, when we shift our perspective from what we are lacking, needing, and desiring, we temporarily replace the survival factor with the renaissance for thriving, giving, and receptivity is a two-way flow. Each allows space for the other. Gratitude, self-love, and self-worth are, inter are interwoven with a capacity to receive together they harsh your soul. Ooh, soul came out. Step into your heart. Heart came out. Step into your heart space by listening to all you are grateful for and notice how full you start to feel. From here, your gift and capacity can spiral upward. Okay? All right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Right, That's it. That makes good sense. A lot of things that was in that card came out in this reading, okay? So just heal yourself. And then walk in the energy of receiving the person that's going to love you and your love language. And know that you are worthy of everything that you are asking for. Let that person go. They done made their choice. What else more do they got to show you? Fuck them. Fuck them. And stop giving away that good dick. They don't deserve it. Stop giving away that good pronanic. They don't deserve it. Okay? Wait for the man with the plan. Wait for the woman that's going to nurture. Wait for the woman that you deserve. Wait for the man that you deserve. Okay, until next time, I love y'all. I mean it, I mean it, I mean it.